straight to the point. I'm going to be talking about paper presentation. What are the things you should be studying in this last few days and how to pass one second video. I have an exam coming up actually and you have an exam coming up in no time. So I'm going to make this video super short, super sweet. <laughs> super short and super sweet. First of all, you start with ophthalmology. Very small subject. You should have been done with ophthalmology back in your postings. You should have been done with, you at least have some idea. Definitely, there's going to be an essay about cataract. There's going to be a question about diabetic retinopathy. After it's just full of sure short questions. Then there's going to be a question about coronary and stuff. There's no doubt. So there's going to be a question about hybrid retinopathy. There's going to be a question about vitamin A. So there are these sure short questions. So all you have to do in ophthalmology is just go with the important questions. Get them every single important questions and you're good to go. Draw a diagram for every single question. Put a flowchart of the pathogenesis if possible. Classify. If I give the classification, vitamin A, grading, and the classification. If I classification, it's super hard to It's super easy to pass. You barely need seven days to literally start from scratch. Like, if, even if you have never studied uh, after till date, seven days from now, if you sit and start studying, you can complete after completely. Uh, next up, we have END. In END, I made this human best 17 minutes long video here. Uh, definitely check this video out. But, and the summary, I'm going to say that for END, also, it's super easy. Five days. If you start from scratch from now, you can complete EAT in five days. It's also full of just direct important questions. That's nothing. Just see the important question. Draw diagrams. I, I don't have to say these of to you because by the way, you already know what to do. You are literally a pre file from so you, you know what to do. Also, Marrow ENT is phenomenal. If you are done with Marrow ENT, you have nothing to worry about. Revise liability again again. You will get harassments. I can, I can promise you. And next up, I wanted to see how uh, forensic medicine. I read this book called uh, Ready, Narayana Ready. I never touched forensic medicine the entire year. Mark Lewis, I didn't touch forensic medicine the entire year because I was genuinely not interested in forensic medicine. I literally just wanted to pass forensic medicine. Four days, Narayana Ready, in a synopsis, I read Ready, but I read it. I read it, but I read it. See, if you want to get a distinction in forensic medicine, then the start of this. There will be some other video on YouTube. Check that video out. This is a video for the people who want to pass forensic medicine by not really studying it. I barely studied for four days. Even four days, it's more than. Even those four days, I was reading the after the ED and the alongside. Just four days, all the important questions, I just read them before exam. And the four days was before the exam. I just warmed it on the paper. That's it. Simple. But also, I felt like forensic medicine is really interesting. Like, it was really interesting. Like, studying about uh, how poisoning happens, or studying about rigor what happens to your body after death. It's all interesting. It's all nice to learn. So, it's a nice subject. Put four days. Get on with it. And finally, we have SPM. The single subject that will scare the shit out of you in third year is SPM. SPM is the same. I am please asking, I am requesting you to just take a park book. Mark the important questions fully. Just study them. Don't go for any other book. Also, one pro tip is in your park, then be the subtopics. And the subtopic, the question is, study the subtopics alone. Subtopic, you can make a story about it. See, Again, as a role of forensic medicine, I just wanted to pass an SPM. I didn't want any score at all. I was genuinely not interested in studying SPM. I accept that. So all I did was to pass. All I studied was just to pass. So pass out the part book, you want to question mark. Study super easy. Six days for after, five days for END, four days for forensic medicine. That's it. You're done with you're done with all these subjects. Then 10 days for SPM. So in probably 25 days, you will be completely thorough with the four subjects if you want to just pass you need just two days for plastic medicine three days for emd three days for after and five days for spm third year is an amazing year it's super easy to pass i will make a video about every single comment this has if you have a question jot down your questions in the comment section down below and i'll make a video about every single lot of them and here is a video about paper presentation this video is for first year students and this will definitely give you a perspective about how to present your paper so definitely check it out and I'll meet you in the next video.